I'm the publicity intern for the Mid-State Fair and I'm driving around to show you um, the fair setup before it actually happened. So we just saw the carnival being set up, so that should be completely set up within the next two days so then kids are ready to go and ride all the rides. So we're going to head to the grandstands where all the big concerts are going to be held. Kane Brown, Santana, Dan and Shay, um, Los Tigres with the thousands of seats we have here at Chumas Arena. This is where, um, that's the big stage where it's happening and then all these seats will be filled for all the concerts. This is one of the Mid-States Fair's many bathrooms. As you can see, it's kept very clean throughout now and during the fair. So this is a new addition to the fair that um, Cal Fire um, helped make and it's to educate people on fire safety and they also provided a new hydration station where you can get free water at the fair, fill up your water bottles or drink from um, a water fountain. So this is Frontier Town where um, there'll be some still exhibits, scarecrow contests, and a bunch of different exhibits, art shows, and also brand newly added to the fair is La Cantina where they'll They'll be having some live performances as well as a DJ every night and drinks on the side. So located right by the flower gate is our frontier stage which gives free concerts with paid fair admission. So there'll be multiple artists and bands that perform every night at 8 p.m. at the California Mid-State Fair so make sure to check it out. With less than two days until the California Mid-State Fair starts, the carnival is currently being set up so that starting Wednesday, July 20th, you can ride the 25 plus rides that Helms and Sons Amusement has provided for the fair. So don't forget to check out the California Mid-State Fair starting this Wednesday, July 20th.